Do you have a great idea for a satellite? Do you want to take pictures of the Earth to post to Instagram? Do you want the most epic four-square check-in ever? Then build yourself a satellite. Hey Spacers, Trace here for D News' weekly space update, and I have got the ultimate nerdy DIY project making your own satellite. Since the days of Sputnik, humans have dreamed the dream of launching their own satellites, and as space-friendly technologies and electronics and solar panels are dropping in price, those dreams are being realized. Now, with commercial space companies booming and searching for dollars, the space industry can finally realize my dreams of launching my satellite that can spy on everyone. <laughs> no, but seriously. There are ways regular humans can build and launch satellites into space. NASA created a proof of concept earlier this year by launching Android phone-powered satellites into low Earth orbit. The phones took some selfies during their five days in space, and folks on the ground could use their amateur radios so they'd know how to look up and, you know, when to make the duck face at the right time. So let's say I've piqued your interest, and you want to get your mitts on a satellite kit. The most popular one will start launching into space in the next few months, the TubeSat. It was announced in 2010, and over the last few years, some people have paid $8,000 to build and launch their own satellites. And that price also includes the launch. These tiny little fellas are completely customizable. As long as they don't exceed volume and mass restrictions, you can have them image the Earth, beam signals, send email, track weather or space visible migrations, just to name a few options. You can get nerdier though and build your own satellite, but you're probably gonna have to crowdfund it through like Kickstarter or something, and that's how ArduSat got off the ground, literally. Using the highly customizable Arduino computer system, this Kickstarter will let backers run their own space experiments. It's gonna have gyroscopes and cameras and Geiger counters and spectrometers. Whatever experiment you can dream up, this baby can try. A while back, my favorite, 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 favorite satellite I've ever seen got kickstarted and I missed the opportunity to back it. <laughs> Three stags from Lake Helen, Florida built a TARDIS and it's going to be launched into orbit. Yes, a TARDIS spinning in space above the Earth, a real one. The windows are solar panels, the interior has a GoPro, antenna, and solid state hard drives. So awesome. All these satellites are designed to burn up in the atmosphere after a little while, so don't worry about space junk. But temporary doesn't mean not useful. I mean, Sputnik was only up there for like three months. Think about it. Only 60 years ago, it took a superpower to launch something basketball-sized that went beep, 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 beep. Now you can do the same thing for a few thousand bucks and it does a whole bunch more stuff. Space is great. Would you be interested in making a satellite or doing an experiment up there? Tell us your plans on Twitter and we will see you next Friday for the next D News Weekly Space Update. Would you be interested in making a satellite or doing some experiments up there? Tell us your plans in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for all the D News around.